Hey y'all, it's me Ryan here. Let's talk for a second, but not on this, because those of us who don't live in 1876, we have a new way of talking to one another. Now, we did once talk about, you, you know, we talked about how easy it is to make a phone call on a rotary telephone before, you know. For those who might have forgotten, I'm not going to tell you right now. But what I will tell you is there's a better way to talk. It's called texting. So, who invented texting? Basically, one day there's this guy named Steve Jobs who's like, okay, let's make the iPhone. They made the iPhone, and then what happened from there is they made multiple more iPhones, and then they made iMessage, and that's how I usually talk to most people. But so he's a phone number to talk to most people through texting, and it's not as secure as it used to be. I don't think it was really ever secure, to be honest with you. There's multiple third-party platforms that are way more secure, like uh, Discord. Now, there is a difference between messaging and texting. So what I mean by messaging is that you, you could send a message to anyone via something like Discord. So you could send them, hi, how are you today? But via text, you have to have their phone number, you have to figure out who you're talking to. Because, I mean, a phone number is not very revealing. Like, you'd have someone's phone number, but you don't know who it is. And you have to also say a good text because they could just think it's spam or some, like, scam service. So, that's what we're going to talk about today. How do you properly send a text to someone? How do you properly get them to be like, oh my gosh, I want to respond to that person right now. So here I have my phone, okay. And who should we text? That's the first thing we should figure out. And second thing is, what should we say? So, you know, let's be a little adventure today. Let's pick, um... Ah, 657-525-4685 today. That's what we're going to text, of course. So, let's text them. So here we are in the Messages app. We're about to text 657-525-4685. But like I said, we have to get some important information first. We have to get their name and text them something that's not spam. So I want to invite this this person to my annual 4th of July cookout. So let's say, hello, come to my cookout. Please give me your name. So, let's wait and see. Hey y'all, it's me, Ryan here. So, computers. Have you ever used a computer before? You have, not the way I have. So we're gonna talk about using a computer today and how to really utilize every feature it has, and... Who's texting me? He texted back! Benson? Benson texted me back! I just can't believe that Benson texted back after all this time. So, we got, a, we got what we needed with a few things. We sent a message that wasn't like spam, we got their name, and we figured out what we're talking to them about. We're talking to them about this cookout. That's never going to happen, but Benson doesn't need to know that. I am very impressed, actually. If I got a message about a cookout, like, a month ago, and I didn't, I never texted back to it, I would never look at it again. I'd just be like, nope, gone. But this Benson character, very trusting. All right, so what we're going to say is we're going to say, Hello, Benson. This is... And it's probably not best to use your real name, so I'm gonna say I am uh, Drake. Today, I invite invited you to a cookout, and it will take place tomorrow at nine. Okay, so the message has been sent, and let's see if we get a response. I'm not waiting five more years again, okay? We're gonna get a response very fast. I can feel it. See, we got a message back. So this message says, Drake, wonderful news. I will bring the stuff. What stuff? I'm not really sure what that means entirely, but you know, it could be something that benefits the cookout or you know, like just. Okay, we have a problem on our hands. So Benson has played the old switcheroo. Benson has taken control of the conversation to where he is now the main focus, 
what is he talking about? I never gave him a location, never gave him anything about myself. I set him a fake name, and I think he's scamming me. So, like, what am I supposed to do here now? All I thought was I was gonna do was send Benson a message and be like, Hey, cookout, not a scam. We would be done. But no, Benson's been like, okay, actually, forget that. Let's do something cynical. I'm right, falling back on old methods. I'm gonna give Benson a phone call. Did, did Benson block me? He, I mean, he could have blocked me, right? Like we, we, we texted each other and I invited him to a cookout. How how could you? Why would he? Why would he, why would he block me? That's really weird. Despite what happened here over the past few months, hook, line, and sinker on my part, dude. That guy was a fool, and he texted me back anyway, even though I was not even being legit, it was very fraudulent. And look at me now, I have made a successful text. I win here, okay? In every scenario, I'm the winner. So hopefully this helped. You know, if you haven't sent a text message to someone, here's the blueprint. And that's all I have to tell you today. And I hopefully think that Benson and I, we can maybe become friends out of this. You never know. I mean, even if he was a little bit fake there for like five minutes, I was a little sad about it. Eh, I forgive people. I don't really care. Anyway, thank you for listening. I'll talk to you again later. Bye, guys.